The Colorado Supreme Court has ruled that Donald Trump cannot be on the ballot because he engaged in overt, voluntary, and direct participation in the insurrection. Now we all wait while the Supreme Court renders a judgment on that. During the wait, every voter can play the 14th Amendment at home version, where voters render their judgment, not about whether Donald Trump should be on the ballot, but whether he should be rewarded with another term. The 14th Amendment says no person shall hold any office who, having previously taken an oath to support the Constitution of the United States, shall have engaged in insurrection or rebellion against the same, or given aid or comfort to the enemies thereof. Did Donald Trump engage in that activity? The January 6th committee presented former Trump aides who testified to a multi-month-long effort to overthrow the election. And after January 6th, it was Trump's allies who rendered that verdict, the Republican leader in the House. Let me be clear. Last week's violent attack on the Capitol was undemocratic, un-American, and criminal. The president bears responsibility for Wednesday's attack on Congress by mob rioters. The Republican leader in the Senate. There's no question. None that President Trump is practically and morally responsible for provoking the events of the day. And one of Trump's most vocal admirers. When it comes to accountability, the president needs to understand that his actions were the problem, not the solution. It breaks my heart that my friend, a president of a consequence, would allow yesterday to happen. And it will be a major part of his presidency. It was a self-inflicted wound. The legal questions presented by the Colorado court may be complex, but voters don't have to let the law fog their common sense. If someone who has committed securities fraud is not allowed to trade stocks and gross neg negligence by a doctor loses him his license, why would you give someone the job of protecting the Constitution after they have already worked so hard to attack it.